Hi everyone, I'm back with another story. This one was written in May 1980 and I called it, Who Was That Strange Man? This spring, a strange, unshaven bum came to our house. His clothes were ragged, dirty, and full of grease, oil, and diesel fuel. A stream of seed corn trickled from his cuffs and pockets. The children looked at this creature who seemed half asleep and backed away. Mommy, who is that man? I'm not sure. I'll ask him what he wants. I approached him slowly. One never can be too cautious with his, the, his kind. Is there something I can do for you? He mumbled a half curse under his breath and said something indistinguishable about a broken fuel line. It's daddy, I proclaimed. Children, say hi to your father. You remember him. He's the one who was sitting on the couch last night snoring. Ha ha, very funny. Bob bent down to the kid's level and spread his arms out to them. Hi, come and give daddy a big kiss. Your face is all scratchy. Becky covered her mouth protectively. They backed away. Bob glared at me. I shrugged. He tried again. Don't be silly. Come over and give me a hug and a kiss. Your face is all scratchy. Becky covered her mouth protectively. You smell like a gas station, Daddy. Robbie wrinkled his nose. Susan, you've been brainwashing these kids, haven't you? Bob gave up on the kids greeting him in the manner he had been accustomed to and faced me. Me? Me? Brainwash our sweet little children? What gives you the head idea? Maybe it's that cat that swallowed the canary grin that crosses your face, or that you are shaking with contained laughter, or that I've lived with you long enough to know you. They, they're they just saying it like it is. Just the innocence of youth. I tried to lose my smile, but couldn't. Or is it that they repeat everything they hear, said Bob. All I could do was smile, shrug, and leave him to his own conclusions. Bob soon left his maverick family for the safety of the house. I remained outside explaining. Daddy has to work on the tractor. That's how he got so dirty. And no, Robbie, you can't be just like Daddy and lie under the tractor. All was quiet for a long time. I was beginning to wonder what was taking Bob so long inside. How long can it take to down a gallon of iced tea? Then out of the house came another stranger. This one was clean shaven and smelled suspiciously of bad salts. It didn't take the kids long to recognize Bob this time, though Becky ran her hand over his face before kissing him. I don't expect the change to last long. I'll just enjoy it while it lasts. Living with my husband was always a challenge, and we challenged him too sometimes. I hope you have a good day. Until next time.